Good morning, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to Crowley House Flower Farm. Today I'm gonna show you just really quickly how to make a dried floral, or you could actually make it with fresh as well, little flower crown. So I have an order for a birthday crown basically for, I think she's like seven or 11, something like that, Seven eleven. Okay, that didn't sound good, but that's what, I'm not sure what her age. And um, so I'm gonna be putting that together in the studio and I thought I would take you along and just show you kind of the method that I've been taught over the years and pass it on to you because it's super, super easy. I'm, I'll kind of show you the old way that I did it um, a long time ago and then the new way that I've been taught. Now, this video, this time of year is really hard for us to film because we have cannons going off 24-7. Well, not at night, but almost feels like 24 seven during the day. Um, they are to detour the birds from the grapes and we've got a lot of vineyards around us. So we have a lot of cannons going off. So if you hear these bangs in the video, I'm not sure if it's gonna pick it up, but if you do, um, that is what it is. And sometimes they're really loud and they kind of ricochet off um, we have some trees in the back or to the side of our house and it kind of the sound kind of it, it's set up the cannon is set up just right that it kind of hits that and then it just makes this very loud bang and it's, it gets me every time I, I jump so uh, that will probably go on for the next two weeks until harvest starts or two to three weeks. Gotta be patient um, and you know everybody has their way at least it's an organic way of farming <laughs> that's what you have to you know I guess you could net your grapes I don't know I'm going on a rant so anyways here you go I'm gonna show you a little bit of how to do this and I hope you enjoy this video So I am getting ready to start the flower crown. So the inspiration for this flower crown is this beautiful peach. It's kind of fall inspired a little bit. So this has got just some peaches, some pinks, some lavenders, and some orange, and then deep browns, like see the beautiful Rebecca's. This is um, a Cosmos, Dahlia's, Snapdragon's. This is the Jazzy Mix. Zinnia, which I love using this time of year. They're shorter, but they're just so cute. They just add a little pop to the arrangement. So this is the table centerpiece for this little birthday party. So now I'm gonna make a floral crown to complement that beautiful arrangement. Okay, so these are my choices. I wanna keep it pretty simple and small because she is a young girl that's probably not gonna want something huge on her head. And if you've ever made a flower crown before, they can get out of hand very quickly. So I wanna keep it pretty thin. 
Now I'm using a combination of dried and fresh. So I'm using some straw flower and kind of a peachy orange color and then also in this light pink blush. And then I've got a couple statuses, which is like a peach status and a creamy white status that I'm gonna add in. And I think that's gonna complement the bouquet really nicely. I'm gonna tie on some really cute little ribbons at the end of it. And um, I think that's just gonna make it really fun. So what I'm using today is, this is um, bind wire. So you can pick this up at a craft store or online, Amazon, that kind of thing. Um, it's a really nice, wire that's got it's almost like um a raffia wrapped around um some wire so it's got a little movement to it but yet you can you know it's pretty strong it's not going to tear when you're pulling on it and then i've got a little roll of twine which you can use a thicker twine than this but this is just what i had and so that's what i'm going to use you'll also want a pair of good clippers and probably some good music and then um, get yourself set up and start. So what you're gonna want to do is measure out with the bind wire. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bind wire and I'm just gonna measure my head and then just kind of be a little generous on both sides. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just kind of pulling there and I'm gonna cut it. So it's more than enough. I'm gonna set that aside. So here is my sizing. And you could ask, like if you're making this for a friend, you could maybe ask, you know, to measure the head, like especially if it's for a baby or something like that. Um, if it is for a baby, we try to make it as soft as possible. Um, we use actually a headband which is a headband made for babies and it's called like a co-soft. You can get them at any like um, pharmacy or like, you know, Walgreens, Rite Aid, I don't know what you have in your area, but any anything like that, Target would have them. And you would basically just glue the flowers on the outside of it so that the baby's head wouldn't get irritated by everything. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bind wire and what I wanna do is basically make like a little hook here. You can kind of see that. Um, but I want to take my spool of twine and I want to connect the two together. The twine we're gonna keep long. We're not gonna cut it at all. So it's gonna stay on the spool and I am going to just take the two I'm gonna just tie this on here. There's easier ways to do this, but I find that this is okay. So then I'm gonna make, so you see my little tie, then I'm gonna make this come around and this is gonna make almost like a bread tie. I wanna tie that on there like that. And then I've got my twine. I'm just gonna bring it down so it meets. And there you have it. You have the two pieces coming apart. I'm not gonna worry about this end until I'm done. And then I've got my spool connected still. So to start with the flowers, I'm going to just piece apart little pieces. And I want these to be fairly short and I'm almost gonna make like little tiny bouquets. So just not very many flowers. So that's like three stems of little status. And I'm going to take it and I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna take my twine and wrap it around. And you wanna go pretty tight and you wanna make sure that you're pretty snug. So I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I don't know if you can see that, but see how tight that is? And that's basically it. It's just finding little flowers that you want to use. And because I want this to be pretty small, um, I don't want this huge thing. I'm going to keep it pretty light with flowers. Like if you wanted to make a huge crown, a huge flower crown, you could definitely do that by adding just in more flowers. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay this right on top like that. And it's just going to keep keep going 
and I'm just gonna wrap. And I usually wrap around two times. And I'm just going to vary the colors. So I'm just doing that peach and the pinks and the creamy white, making little tiny bouquets to add in. is to keep your flowers all going the same direction. You don't want to put one facing the wrong direction. At the end of it, if you really wanted to add in something different, like, um, like a big show flower, or if you were doing this fresh and you wanted to add a big rose, something like that, then I would suggest that you would glue that in and use like an Oasis cold glue. You've seen me use that before, I think. I can show you here in a minute. That's, and then also if you had any holes in your design that you needed to fill in or something that you didn't love. So I'm just gonna keep working at this, kind of going back and forth with the different colors. Um, finding kind of the groove that I want. I'm definitely throwing in some of this white every once in a while and the peach, kind of like that. So I'll just show you really quick the back side of this. I think you can see that pretty well. But it's basically just kind of wound, the, the twine is just wound around. And it's wound pretty tight onto this bind wire. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep playing here and going until I'm done and like the size of it.
So what's kind of nice about using fresh and dried is that the fresh um, status, and status dries really, really well. So it's kind of nice because it kind of holds the structure together almost like a little bit like glue, I guess. So I'm almost done here. I'm just making my last few little loops, rounds. So I went ahead and kind of marked where I think I want it to end so that I know it's almost like an eye and hook where it's gonna go around like this and then hook into here. And then we're going to twist it on to this one here. Um, but we'll leave that open for the client to measure their, um, their daughter's head. But so I'm just gonna take the flowers down to about right here. So a couple more little bunches and we will call it good. And I'll show you how to add the ribbon on. So you can see that I have my bind wire here and my just twine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the twine and then I'm gonna tie the twine off. So this is the tricky part that most people struggle with just a little bit is you wanna go around, you wanna make sure it's nice and tight, your last one. And then, actually this is too long, so I'm gonna cut it again. But you always wanna leave it long enough to where you can manage it. And then I'm just gonna make, I don't know if you can see this, but like a little bit of a loop and then tie it through that. So I'm just pulling it through like that. And I'm making it pretty tight. Okay, so that should hold it nicely. Then I'm just gonna cut these little ends off, tidy up this end. Okay, so I've got this long tail. So this long tail is going to go through here and that's how you're gonna cinch it together, right? So that is the loop that when you give it to your client or when you make it for like a party or something like that, you'll wanna give instruction for that. Now, I had this little one fall off. If I wanted to, I would use a little cold glue, tuck it back in if I had little holes that I didn't like. So this is a Oasis um, cold glue floral adhesive basically. And you can get that sometimes online. Right now it's really hard to find it. It acts just like a hot glue gun. So if you didn't have this, you could use a hot glue gun. But if you were doing this for a party, say with a whole bunch of kids that you, you know, preteens, teenagers, young adults, if you didn't have the cold glue, you can definitely use hot glue. But if you have young children that you're a little worried about getting burnt or, you know, just whatever, or you just didn't have electricity, maybe you're out in the garden and you're trying to do something really fun, then uh, this cold adhesive works really well. It holds really well. You have to hold the flowers on for like um, larger flowers. You can hold for a couple minutes. Smaller ones and dried flowers, literally you place it on. You know, nobody's gonna be wearing this crown right away. I'm just adding a little bit to this. I'm just kind of popping it on. Any little holes that I see. And it dries literally just like a hot glue gun, really, really fast. Okay, I'm liking this. Now I just have to choose some ribbon. So this is a really, really simple, easy way to make a wreath. And for any skill level, this is great. So I'm gonna just, I have the mirror behind me, which is great. I'm just gonna try it on for size and then figure out what ribbon I want to use. Okay, my hair is not done and you know, I'm, <laughs> I've just been working out in the yard. So if your hair was done, it would look really, really cute, but I like it. Okay, so I think it looks really cute, but could you imagine, you know, hair actually done and you know, it feels pretty comfortable. It's not prickly. I think the straw flower is kind of soft in some ways and then having the fresh and dried status in there works pretty well. Okay, long ribbons dangling down the back, cute little garden dress crown. I'm loving it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a big thumbs up 
a like. I'd love to hear your comments on this if you have a different way of making crowns or have ever had a garden party out in the garden with your friends and done something like this with fresh or dried flowers. Tell me how it went and yeah, until next time, much success in all you do and grow and we'll be seeing you shortly here in the garden very soon. Bye-bye.